After six games away from home, the Owls have returned to Bailey Park in hopes of sh st sh snapping their six-game losing streak. Their opponent, the team that stands directly above them in the standings, Florida Gulf Coast Eagles, who also look to snap a six-game losing streak of their own. The Owls have won the last two meetings between the two sides, with the last meeting coming back in last season's A-Sun tournament, where the Owls came out on top with a dominant 8-1 victory. Can the Owls take a step today and try and even the all-time series with the Eagles, who currently hold an 11-7 advantage? We'll find out as it's an A-Sun softball Saturday here in Kennesaw. It's the visiting FGCU Eagles versus the Kennesaw State Owls next, here on the KSU Owl Network.
Hello, everybody, and welcome into the broadcast booth. Bryce Gobert here on the call for another day of A Sun softball and a matchup between the Kennesaw State Owls and the visiting FGCU Eagles. We'll first hit the starting lineups for the visiting Florida Gulf Coast Eagles. Their batting order leading off and playing shortstop number one, Reedy Davenport. Batting second, playing center field, number 13, Riley Oaks. Batting third, playing right field, number 15, Canna Davis. Batting in the cleanup spot, number 22, Emily Estroff. Batting fifth, number 25, Abby Thomas, the designated player. Batting sixth, the left fielder, number 88, McKenna Batterton. Batting seventh, the catcher, number 77, Neely Peterson. Batting eighth, the third baseman, number 10, Taylor Phila. And finally, batting ninth, the first baseman, number 17, Hope Hernandez. Owls defensively shaped like this. Left field, Madison Miller. And center field, it's Katie Greep. And right field will be Kiara Cooper. Behind the plate will be freshman Bella Galloway. Third base, Taylor Cates. Shortstop, Faith Alexander. Second baseman, Ty Hardiman. And at first base, Brania Bailey. We are underway here with Melanie Bennett on the bump for the Owls. First pitch called strike one with Reedy Davenport at the plate. Bennett gets set, starts the motion, winds and delivers, fouled off over the Owls' dugout, count now 0-2. Owls come into today with a six-game losing streak to their name, FGCU the same. Both teams looking to snap that losing streak. 0-2 pitch, again fouled off, this time backwards off the screen. Owls with two wins today can move in to FGCU's place as the 0-2 pitch is hit to right center field. Coming over to make the grab will be Katie Greep for out at number one. Owls with two wins today in this doubleheader of the three-game series. Chance to move into first with two wins. Or not first, rather. FGCU spot, which would be fifth. Owls currently sixth with a 4-11 conference record. One down here in the top of the first between the Owls and the Eagles. Davenport. Flew out to center field to Katie Greep. Riley Oaks, the center fielder, steps in to the right side batter's box. A left-handed hitter versus the right-handed pitcher in Bennett. Bennett starts in motion, winds up and delivers, misses outside. 2-0 and now the count. Two up pitch from Bennett, swung on and fouled backwards off the netting behind home plate. Count will move to two and one here with one out in the top of the first. Bennett checks the wristband, gets to get the pitch. Ball now in the glove, motion started, two one infield playing in, swung on and missed, now a two and two count. Oaks comes into today batting with a 292 batting average. Looking to be the first eagle on base today. 2 2 pitch fouled off over towards the Eagles' dugout off the netting. And we'll try the 2 2 again. Owls finally back home after a six-game road stand. Another 2-2 pitch is fouled off. Bennett again with the 2-2 pitch. Misses outside, now 3-2. Now 
Oaks looking to get on one here with a two out walk or a single. 3 2 pitch with one out from Bennett. Misses high and she will walk. Good support from the FGCU fans who made the trip up here to Kennesaw. Decent crowd here on a Saturday afternoon for a 1 p.m. first pitch. Canna Davis now will step in to face off against the right-handed batter. Excuse me, right-handed pitcher and Melanie Bennett. Bennett. Checking over towards the dugout to get the pitch. Checks the armband, likes it. Starts the windup and the delivery. That one's a high hit infield fly. Hardeman there to make the grab. Checks back at first. Oaks will return and the Owls now have two away. Emily Estroff. Second baseman, number 22, another left-handed hitter on this Eagles team. Batting 297 on the year, 350 with runners on, and 387 with two outs. First pitch to her as the runner goes. Throw from Galloway, not in time. Oaks gets a stolen base, her fifth on the year. Been caught stealing three times. Scored six runs so far this year. Oh, and one our count. Two outs, top of the first. Eagles and Owls still tied at zero. Runners in scoring position now. Oh, one pitch from Bennett. Fouled down the right side into the Owls bullpen. 0-2, the count moves to. O2 2 pitch from Bennett, swing and a miss. And the Owls will get out of the inning with no damage done. When we return, we'll give you the Owls starting batting order and more here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Eagles and Owls tied after the top of the first. Owls will come up to bat, starting batting order for them. Faith Alexander at shortstop will lead off. Katie Greeps in center field will be batting second. Taylor Cates batting third, who plays third base. Bernaya Bailey in the cleanup spot. Kira Cooper batting fifth. Pacey Bia, the designated player today here for the Owls, batting sixth. Bella Galloway, the catcher, batting seventh. Madison Miller, eighth, the left fielder. And batting ninth, the second baseman, Ty Hardeman. In the circle today for the Eagles is Ali, Ali Hayum. First pitch from her is a strike one. Second pitch misses upstairs, one of one now. Yelms pitch, slapped directly at the second baseman, Emily Estroff, throw to first in time, and the Eagles get one down already. Katie Grief now will step into the batter's box. 
Defensively, the Eagles have Neely Peterson behind the plate. Hope Hernandez at first. Taylor Villa at third. First pitch to Katie Griep is fouled off. Reedy Davenport at shortstop. Emily Estroff at second. McKenna Batterton in left field. Riley Oaks in center. And Canna Davis in right. Windy day here in Kennesaw. 0-1 pitch. Misses way upstairs. High off the netting. Smiles all around. 1-1 one one now the count here with one out in the bottom of the first. One blown from right to left. Owls in their gold uniforms here. FGCU wearing the blow. Blue with the green shoulders. Another ball hit hard to the third baseman. Katie Griep will reach safely. Taylor Filla had a hard time handling that one. Bounce over to Reedy Davenport. By the time Davenport got the ball, Griep was already stepping on the bag at first. So that'll go down as an infield single. And the Owls have one on with one out. Taylor Cates. Leads the Owls in a multitude of categories. First pitch to her. Just misses on the outside. 377 batting average so far this season. Uh, on base percentage of a 419. That's 396 when there's runners on. Creep showed she was going. Throw down to first was no issues. Group got back in time. Owls wearing their gold uniforms for gold out Gulf Coast Day. FGCU wearing the blue with the green shoulder stripes, white pants, blue socks. 2-0 pitch to Taylor Cates. Gets in there, 2-1. So they actually changed that scoring to go down as an air. And they'll give it to Taylor Filla. Grip will go this time, throw down to second. Not in time. Throw is on target from Neely Peterson. Pitch got in there for strike two, however, so the count's now even. 2-2 two -two count, one out. No score here in the bottom of the first between the Eagles and the Owls. Wind up and Pitch from home. Just misses the strike zone now, three and two. Home this season with a nine and 12 record, 280 ERA. Three two pitch on the way, swing and a miss from Taylor Cates. And now FGCU gets the second out with Brenaya Bailey coming up to the plate. Nine and two, nine and twelve record this season. Two saves to her resume. Hundred and twenty-three innings pitched, one hundred and eighteen hits given up, sixty-seven runs, forty-nine of them earned. First hits to Bailey, gets in there, catches the outside of the zone for strike one. Fifty-seven walks this year, ninety-two strikeouts, giving up twelve home runs as well. Swing and a miss again from Brenaya Bailey. Grip will return to second, and now with two outs here in the bottom of the first, the Owls down to their final strike in the inning. Holm will step back onto the rubber, start the motion, wind up, misses high. One, two, now you count. So an early air allowed the Owls to get on base. Both teams with... People getting on base here in the first. One, two, pitch. Fouled off backwards towards the screen. Nice job from Bailey to get a piece of that one and stay alive. Eagles reached on a walk. Owls get a little help off in air from Taylor Phillip. Holmes steps back onto the rubber, starts the motion, and throws. That one misses low and away. Count now. Even at two apiece. Two's across the board here at Bailey Park. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here. And the bottom of the first still scoreless between the Eagles of FGCU and the Owls of Kennesaw State. Infield playing deep. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. 
And the Eagles will get out of the inning. Runner in scoring position, but they'll leave one on. And when we return, the Eagles will be back at the dish. Still tied 0-0 here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles tied still at zero. No runs have crossed the plate just quite yet. Abby Thomas, the designated player, will lead off the top of the second inning here for the Eagles. Try and get the first runs on the board today. First pitch from Bennett. Just misses inside, 1-0. Crowd's still coming in here to Bailey Park on a 1 p.m. start here in Kennesaw. Beautiful day. Little to no clouds in the sky. Sun shining, wind blowing. 1-0 pitch from Bennett. Fouled off backwards towards the screen, 1-1. One and one. And with the 1-1 pitch, motion and delivery. That one's hit high. Enfield pop up behind the plate. Bernaya Bailey will come down from her position at first to make the grab, and it'll be a fly out here for Abby Thomas to start off the top of the second for the Eagles, bringing up McKenzie, McKenna Batterton, the left fielder. Batterton comes into today with the... 0.346 on base percentage, 257 batting average. Enfield playing in. First pitch called strike one. 29 hits so far this season, nine RBIs, 13 walks, one home run. And a stolen base to her name as well. A one pitch from Bennett. That one misses outside, one and one. And then looking towards the dugout for the pitch call. Gets it, checks the wristband on the glove. Starts the motion, the wind up and delivery. Pitch misses low, two and one. Nice job from Galloway to keep that one in front of her. Two one count here, one out in the top of the second. The Eagles and the Owls still tied at zero. Bennett's two one pitch. Bunt was pulled back just in time. Pitch missed high, three and one. Kenna Batterton at the plate, three one pitch. Gets in there for a strike two and count goes full. Back 
pennant looking to get her second strikeout on the day. As the 3 2 pitch is delivered, that one's another infield fly. Ty Hardeman over to make the grab, and she will. And the Owls now have two away. Second fly ball in the infield to Ty Hardeman. This time had to move a little bit closer to second base. Faith Alexander also there as an option to make that grab. Hardeman called her off and made the grab herself. Two outs now. Here in the top of the second, Bennett. First pitch to Neely Peterson, the catcher here for the Eagles this afternoon in game number one. Took the first one as ball one. Awaits the second. Bennett gets the pitch, starts the motion, pushes off the rubber and delivers. That one just missed inside, 2-0. and oh. And again, awaiting the pitch call. Checks the glove plate, gets it, pushes off again and delivers. This one I'm it's fouled off backwards. Two and one now the count. Two one pitch on the way. That one's hit right back at Melanie Bennett and we'll get in the gap between Faith Alexander and Ty Hardeman, and now with two outs, the Eagles have one aboard. At the eighth spot in the order, Taylor Phillip, the third baseman, will step into the batter's box. Peterson bets 154 with two outs, got on. Stands at first. First pitch swing and miss from Phila. 0 1 1 the count. Phila today comes in with a 271 batting average. That's 244 with two outs and 231 with runners on. Watch the second pitch miss outside. Count now at 1 and 1. First hit of the game belongs to FGCU. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Misses upstairs, 2-1. and one. Eagles got on in the first inning, courtesy of a Riley Oaks walk. Neely Peterson stands on first with the lone hit of the ball game. Melanie Bennett starts the motion, wind up in delivery on the 2-1 pitch. That one gets in there, 2-2. Two, two. And it pushing the pace. Third base in head coach David DeRios. Dyros, excuse me. And Peterson, no, there's two outs and two strikes. Pitch from Bennett. Now one's fouled off. Peterson looked like she was on the move, has to go back. And we'll retry the 2 2 again. Still no score here in the top of the second between the Owls and the Eagles. I was looking to get the last out of the inning and get back to hitting. Bennett starts her motion. Wind up and delivery. Again, fouled off. High off the screen towards the KSU dugout. And again, we'll try the 2-2. Two -two. Bennett ready to go. Starts the motion and delivers the 2-2. Swing and a miss. And gets the Owls out of the inning. A strikeout to Taylor Villa. Ends it in the Owls. When we return, we'll be back at the dish. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network. The Eagles and Owls tied at zero.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles tied at zeros across the board here in the bottom of the second inning. Two strikeouts on the day so far for Melanie Bennett. Allie Hume with two on the day as well, and we'll face off against Kiara Cooper, who watches that first one in for ball one. One zero pitch, that one crosses right over the middle of the plate in the strike zone. One and one now the count. I was looking to get back to their winning ways after a six-game road trip. One one pitch misses inside. Two and one. I was unable to come away with a victory on a tough road trip. Had to face off against the first place Liberty Flames. And then had to head down to North Florida. 2-1 pitch is chopped towards third. Plays blown dead. She'll go back. In the batter's box, and we'll resume with the 2-1 count. We'll go to 2-2. That one sneaks in there for ball three, and now it's a 3-2 count. No outs yet here. As that one's fouled up high off the screen towards the KSU dugout. We'll try the 3-2 again. No outs quite yet. Here in the bottom of the second. Owls and the Eagles tied. One blown right to left. 3-2 pitch on the way. That one misses upstairs. And a leadoff walk here to start off the bottom of the second for Kiara Cooper. Pacey Villa will step back to the dish. Designated player today. Here for the Owls. First pitch to V is a swing and miss. Cooper thought about going, didn't go, end up going. On one count, given directions on the third base side here for Kennesaw State. It's head coach Trip McKay here in his fourth season. At KSU, fourth season as a head coach, 86 and 85 record. That pitch missed high, slide into second. Called out. Great throw by Neely Peterson right on the dot. Double check the call at first base. And a nice job there from Emily Estroff to receive that and get the tag down in time. So one out here in the bottom of the second on a attempted stolen base from Kira Cooper that went unsuccessful. Via standing in with a one-two count to avoid the second out of the inning. One-two pitch on the way, and that one's a Infield fly that's coming back into the crowd. Count remains at one and two. Nobody on here in the bottom of the second. Owls and Eagles tied at zero apiece. Still only one out in the inning. One two pitch on the way. That one misses outside. Gets away from Peterson, but not too far. Count now two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs via 
Fouls that one off her foot. She comes up limping. We're gonna try and walk it off, and we'll try the 2-2 two -two again. Trim McKay will come down to just check and make sure that she's okay. That one was off her front leg. Right off the front foot. It looks like on the top of the cleat. Via batting 219 on the year. Two home runs on the season, seven hits, four runs, and four RBIs. As we'll have a quick stoppage right here. Two balls, two strikes, and two out, and, excuse me, one out. Scoreboard in Bailey Park says two. Via looks to be okay. Walks it off, just... Umpire behind the plate, also checking to make sure that she's all right. It's Kevin Bessemer standing over and behind the plate. Next pitch misses on the inside. Count will go full. Kevin Bessemer behind the plate. Jose Chaparro on first. And Dwayne Shoemate over at third. 3-2 pitch. That one misses low. And it's a one-out walk here. For Pace VV in the second walk of the inning. Mella Galloway will step into the box, get the signs from Trip McKay. Via looks over, does the same. It's Bella Galloway batting 214 on the year. Well, Face off against Ali Hume. First pitch called strike one. Second pitch misses high. Forces Neely, Neely Peterson to stand up and catch that one. One on one now, our count. One one pitch. This is again inside two and one. Two one pitch on the way. That one's chopped over towards third. A chance for a double play. They got though out at second, out at first. In time. FGCU ends the inning on a double play. And a nice job there from Taylor Phila to make up for the air she had earlier on in this ball game and retire the side. Owls unable to do anything on that time. But when we come back, FGCU will be back at the plate. Still tied at zeros apiece. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles. Still tied at zeros apiece. The Eagles at the bottom of their order with Hope Hernandez in a nine spot at the plate. Melanie Bennett still on the mound. With two strikeouts today. First pitch from her to Hernandez is a swing and a miss. Foul tip, the umpire says, 0-1. Oh, one pitch to Hernandez. Showed bunt, pulled it back. Gets in there for strike two. Hernandez comes into today with a 205 batting average. On the 0-2 pitch, another swing and a miss. And the third strikeout on the day for Melanie Bennett here in the top of the third. We'll head back to the top of the order. Reedy Davenport flew out to center. Right center, rather. Her first time up, Katie Group there to make the grab. Hernandez, Davenport, and Oaks are the three due up here and to start the top of the third. Bennett's first pitch. Reedy had to... Back off of that one, lean back, so it didn't hit her, 1-0. and oh. And it checks the glove for the pitch. 1-0 delivery. That one's another one hit to center field. Katie Group going back for it. Gets under it and makes the grab in the exact same spot she made the first one. And the Owls quickly have two away. Riley Oaks walked her first time up with a stolen base as well. Unable to go anywhere after she reached second. Left-handed batter versus a right-handed pitcher. First pitch to Oaks is in there for strike number one. A one count here with two outs in the top of the third. Eagles and Owls tied at zero. Eagles with the only hit of the game as well as the only air. Still nobody come across the plate just yet. 0-1 pitch. That one misses low and away, 1-1. One one. Ben and again checks towards the dugout. Checks. Paper on the back of the glove. Starts the motion, pushes off, and delivers. This is outside, two and one. That one's going to be chopped towards Taylor Cates at third. Throw over to Bernaya ba Bernia Bailey at first. Gets the third out of the inning. And the Owls will go back to batting here when we return to the bottom of the third. The Owls and the Eagles still tied at zero here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles tied at zeros. We head to the bottom of the third. Madison Miller will be the leadoff man to start off this half inning. Miller comes in today, batting at 239. That's 500 when in the leadoff position. Watches the first one in for strike one. Second pitch as the infield plays in. Also gets in there for strike two. Left-handed batter. This is the right-handed pitcher in Hume. O2 pitch on the way. That one misses way high. One and two now the count. One two pitch on the way. And that one's slapped foul. Just got a little bit under it. A little late on it as well. When the ball gets up there, and I have to deal with that. Blown right to left, flag straight out. One two pitch again. Swung on and missed. Third strikeout on the day for Ali Hulm. And the Eagles have one away. Now the nine spot here in the Owls order with Ty Hardiman, second to up in this bottom of the third inning. Faith Alexander the third, do up. She stands in the on-deck circle now. First pitch to Hardiman. Looked like it was almost on her hands. Curved back into the strike zone. Owen won the count. Second pitch, that one's in the dirt. Just gets behind Neely Peterson, but not too far. One and one the count. Davenport and Estroff at shortstop and second playing deep. Phila at third, playing shallow. One one pitch turns to two one as that one missed in the dirt. Hernandez staying put at first. Now still looking to get their first hit on the day as we're in the bottom of the third. Still no score here as well. 2-1 pitch. Misses upstairs and away. Now 3-1. Owls to get their third walk on the day. Three one on the way. That one sneaks on the outside in the strike zone. Three and two now the count here for Ali Hume. Three two pitch on the way. That one bounces before it hits the plate. And a one out walk for the Owls here. We'll bring up Faith Alexander first time up. Grounded out to second. Now a Ty Hardiman on first, Faith Alexander. To get her around to score. Gonna go over and talk to Coach Tripp McKay real quick about the signs. A little delay here just for that. New signs delivered. And Alexander will step back into the box. Another left handed hitter here for Kennesaw State. Shows bunt, gets it down at Hardeman to first. Alexander, to, or excuse me, Hardeman to second. Safe in time. Alexander, good sack bunt for her team. Unfortunately, not safe at first for the Owls. But 
But Katie Grief will step in, reach on an air her first time up, and also a stolen base. Owls with two stolen base attempts today. They're one for two. Jared Cooper didn't get in there in time. Back in the bottom of the second. First pitch to Katie Greep misses outside, 1-0. Oh. Here with two outs in the bottom of the third, the Eagles and the Owls still tied with the Owls having one in scoring position. Home starts the motion, winds up and delivers. That's fouled off towards the FGCU dugout, trying to make the grab on it was... Taylor Filla, unable to do so, lost it in the sun. And the count will go to one and one. Had a chance to make a play on it, but just lost it as it was up in the air. Thought it may hit the top of the dugout. Didn't. Just fell right next to her. And we'll go to a one one count. Time called at the plate. Alexander will resume. 1-1 one, one pitch. Couldn't quite tell if it was fouled off or it just missed. Alexander swung, went off the top of the umpire's helmet. He looks to be okay. Count will go to one and two here with two outs. We'll make sure that he's good to go. Home plate Evan umpire Kevin Bessemer. Joking around with Faith Alexander at the plate, having some laughs. Looks to be okay, and we'll get back underway. Taylor Cates on the on deck circle. Here with the one two count and two outs, it's Faith Alexander. The pitch on the way. That's going to be slapped towards second. Estroff to first to get the third out of the inning. And we'll go scoreless as we head to the top of the fourth. The Owls and the Eagles still tied at nothing. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles of FGCU still tied at zero. Leading off here in the top of the fourth inning will be number 15, Canna Davis. Owls with the one, two, three inning, the last time up. Melanie Bennett so far with three, three strikeouts today and starts off with a strike there, now an 0 and 1 count. Canna Davis, her last time up. And an infield fly caught by Ty Hardeman at second. Back in the top of the first. Bennett's 0-1 pitch. Misses high, 1-1. Bennett comes in today with a 3.16 ERA. 9-13 record, 100. 37 and the third innings pitch. That one fouled off backwards 
towards the back screen. One and two now the count. 137 and a third innings pitched, giving up 147 hits, 79 runs, 62 of those earned. 46 walks, 123 strikeouts, and eight home runs on the year. 44 pitches today, faced 11 batters. This is the 12th. 1-2 pitch on the way, down again, fouled off backwards. We'll try the 1-2 again for Cannon Davis, who's batting a team best 371 this season. 39 hits, 19 runs, 26 RBIs. Eight home runs on the year. Eight doubles to her name. One-two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Bennett gets her fourth. Good crowd on hand here at Bailey Park for this Saturday A-Sun matchup between the Owls and the Eagles. FGCU and... Kennesaw State looking to both snap six-game losing streaks here today. All right now, we're dead knotted at zeros. Bennett's first pitch to Emily Estroff. Misses low, 1-0. Both these teams in the last week faced off against Liberty. one -oh count here to Estroff. Fouls that one off over towards the FGCU dugout. High off the screen. Count moved to one of one. FGCU's last one came back on Sunday, April 3rd. That one's chopped foul. Last one was against Jacksonville back on April 3rd. A 3 nothing win, which they... Took the series two to three. Won the first game of their doubleheader back on April 2nd. A five to two and then lost a low scoring affair, a one nothing game to Jacksonville State and the Gamecocks and then came back on Sunday and won three nothing. One two pitch, gets in there for strike three. Melanie Bennett up to five strikeouts. Abby Thomas, designated player today, fouled out her last time at the dish. Two outs here in the top of the fourth, the Owls and the Eagles tie. That one's again fouled. Bernay Bailey going for it, under it, makes the grab and gets the Owls out of the inning. Another fly out to Brania Bailey for Abby Thomas, and the Owls will get out of the inning and we return to the dish when we come back. The Eagles and the Owls still tied at zero here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles tied still at zeros. Get a little meaning in the dugout. We'll hear.
So a couple of changes here. Sorry for the little silence trying to hear what the umpire said. said Taylor Cates at the plate here for Kennesaw State. First pitch to her is chopped in left field and the Owls have their first hit on the day on a first pitch swing from Taylor Cates. So Bernaya Bailey will step into the dish, watches the first one in for strike one. Bailey, her first time up, struck out swinging. That pitch gets up, stares, and that gets away from catcher Neely Peterson. Taylor Cates will take second in on a wild pitch. One one count. This is the best position the Owls have had today. That one's foul. Diving effort from the third baseman, Tylee Villa, unable to make the grab. Count will go to one and two. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, the Owls and the Eagles tied at zeros. Both teams with a hit. Eagles own the only air of the game. Taylor Cates with the leadoff single. In scoring position on a wild pitch. Once you pitch to Bailey, again, fouled off. Kate's in scoring position. Bailey bats 314 with runners in scoring position. 282 on the year with 29 hits, three home runs, and 18 RBIs. One two pitch on the way. Fout off backwards towards the FGCU, FGCU dugout for the third time. Nice job by Bernaya to hang in. One two pitch again, and that one's going to be driven into center field. Nice grab from Riley Oaks to come in as that one was hit to left center. Came sprinting in to make the grab and get the first out of the inning. Kiara Cooper will step back in. First pitch to her. And for a strike, a couple of defensive changes during the middle of the inning that we were trying to get it worked out. A one pitch to Kira Cooper is fouled off towards the FGCU dugout and will go foul. Looks like Emily Estroff, who started the game at second, has moved to the designated player. Hope Hernandez has moved to second base. 0-2 pitch here to Kiara Cooper. Here with one out, misses outside, now one and two. Casey Huber has also entered the game and is at first. We'll see if they come back now with that the same as that one's again fouled off and out of play. We'll see if they come back with that to start the bottom of the fifth. Yeah, 
Neom on the one two pitch. That one misses low. Count moves now to two and two. Still with zeros across the board in the bottom of the fourth. Owls and the Eagles of FGCU tied it at zeros apiece. 2 2 pitch on the way. That one misses inside. FGCU fans disagree. Owl fans. Breathe a sigh of relief, now a three and two count. Hang on to the rubber is Ali Hume. Starts the motion, winds up and delivers the three two. That one slapped towards second. In and out of the glove of Hope Hernandez. And the Owls get runners on the corners with one out. We'll see how they scored that. Well, something similar happened back in the first. They scored an air. And they'll score that one in air as well. M.G. Anderson will now enter the game here for as a pinch hitter. M.G. Anderson will enter. Batting 153 on the year, 188 with runners in scoring position, 59 at bats, nine hits. She gets on. She has six stolen bases on the year. As Kira Cooper goes. Throw back to third will be to Taylor Cage. She thought about going home. Ball not quite too far enough away to do that. Kira Cooper will steal, though, and that'll go down as her fourth, excuse me, fifth steal on the year. Caught stealing four times. Taylor Cates on third with seven stolen bases. So only one out here in the bottom of the fourth. The Owls threatening here on the Eagles. Enfield playing in. Swung and missed on. Getting a piece of it was M.G. Anderson. It's pinch inning for Pacey Villa. Villa walked her first time up. As Anderson watches that one. And for ball two. Two two pitch here, and now two airs on the Eagles. Helm starts in motion, winds up and delivers. That one's shot towards third. Throw to first for MG Anderson. Called out. A close play there at first. Enfield was playing in. That ball was hit directly to Taylor Phila. So the Owls try something, doesn't quite work out. And now Bella Galloway will step in and try and score some runs here for Kennesaw State. As we're going to have a meeting in the circle here for FGCU. Talking strategy on the mound. With Bella Galloway going to be at the plate. Freshman catcher. From Smyrna, went to Campbell High School. And now with two runners on, both in scoring position, the Owls with a chance to take the lead here in the bottom of the fourth. Bella Galloway hit into a double play her last time at the plate. Watches the first pitch in for strike one. 
Good matchup here on a sunny Saturday here in Kennesaw. Wind blowing in the outfield. Fans enjoying some nice ace on softball. 0-1 pitch, misses upstairs and away. Now one and one. One one count here with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Team still tied at zero. That one also gets in there for a strike, and the count will move to one and two. A single will score at least one here for the Owls. Both teams only with a hit so far to their name. One two pitch on the way, swing and a miss. And Allie Hulm is fired up as she gets her team out of the inning, and we'll head to the top of the fifth. Still scoreless here in Kennesaw. You're listening to Kennesaw State Softball here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Kennesaw and Bailey Park. The Owls and the Eagles still tied at zero. Eagles looking to be the ones to strike first. Owls had a chance last inning, unable to do anything with it. Bennett's still in the game here for Kennesaw State as that first pitch is fouled off to McKenna Batterton. Batterton with the fly out to Ty Hardeman in her first time up. And it starts her motion, infield playing in, winds and delivers. And misses high, one and one. One and one pitch on the way from Bennett. Just misses inside, two and one. Both these teams with a lot on the line here today. Trying to snap losing streaks as that one's hit high in the air to right field. Coming in to make the grab is Kiara Cooper. She will with the long run and get the first out of the inning. So batter Tim with another fly out, this time to right field. Bring up Neely Peterson. First pitch to her, called strike one. One out pitch, almost hits Neely Peterson. Doesn't though, count moving to one and one. Bennett starts in motion, winds and delivers. Off-speed pitch gets in there for strike two. 
Pitt with five Ks on the day so far. Looking to get her sixth here against Neely Peterson. Motion and delivery, the one, two. That one's driven down the left side line, pulling foul into the tree in the foul territory. And we'll try that one again here with one out in the bot top of the fifth. The Owls and the Eagles tied at zeros. And again gets the pitch. Motion, push off, and delivery. Again fouled off this time. May stay fair. Bernay Bailey going to make the grab. Unable to do so is in the Owls' dugout. So again, we'll try the one, two. Bennett trying everything in her arsenal, trying to get this strike out here. The one-two delivery. That one misses high. Off the netting, get out, out of her hands. Just slipped. Two-two, the count moves to. So only one out here in the top of the fifth between these two teams. Still no score. Two-two pitch. Foul tipped backwards towards the screen. That one will keep the count at two and two. Then it gets set, starts the motion, throws and delivers. Again, fouled backwards towards the screen. Nice job here from Neely Peterson to hang around in this at bat. No scoring affair here between the two teams. No score yet in here in game one of this A Sun doubleheader. Second game will start approximately 30 minutes after. This first game concludes. 2-2 Two -two pitch, that's gonna be rolled foul. Taylor Cates with the stop on that one. Saw yesterday in the Owls baseball game against their opponent Jacksonville where they just tried to watch one roll over the foul line and just died on the line. 2-2 Two -two pitch, again fouled off. Peterson trying her hardest to stay on and get on a base here. Long at bat here for Melanie Bennett and Neely Peterson. The two battling. Again, the 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Gets in there for strike three. Melanie Bennett comes out on top and gets her 6K of the day. And the Owls now have two away here in the top of the fifth, still scoreless. Daly Phila, third baseman, struck out her last time up. Watches the first one miss, ball one. And it sets, delivers. Again, that one misses inside, this time low. Yeah, moves now to NO here and with two outs in the top of the fifth between the FGCU Eagles and the Kennesaw State Owls. Still scoreless here at Bailey Park. Bennett again gets set and delivers. That one's going to be driven into left center field. Going back at the wall. It's gone. The first run of the day comes on a Taylor Field solo shot to left center. And the Eagles jump on top, one to nothing. She's welcome back into the dugout. Greeted by her team with FGCU registering only the third hit of this ball game, second to their name. And it goes yard for Taylor Phila. 
Hope Hernandez will now step in and try and replicate that or try and at least get on base. So FGCU here with two outs gets a solo shot from Taylor Fia to take the lead, one nothing. And we're going to have a mound visit here for KSU. Camden Decker out in the circle to talk to Melanie Bennett. Mountain meeting is her circle meeting is over. Hope Hernandez will come back to the batter's box, a righty on righty matchup. And is also struck out her first time up. 72 pitches so far here for Melanie Bennett in the top of the fifth. FGCU leads 1 0. The bunt put down and play. Throw to first. Covering was Ty Hardman as Bernaya Bailey was already in. And the Owls get the third out of the inning. Not before FGCU does some damage, courtesy of a Taylor Filla home run. And the Eagles take the lead one to nothing. As we head to the bottom of the fifth, you're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls currently trail the FGCU Eagles by a score of one to nothing. FGCU took the lead courtesy of a Tylee Fillo home run in the top part of this fifth inning. Madison Miller, the first batter due up here for the Owls. And field playing in. First pitch goes for ball one. Miller, Hardeman, and Alexander, the three due up. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Second pitch also misses, ball two. Helms 2-0 pitch, catches the outside, now two and one. That pitch as well gets in there right across the plate for strike two. So if you're going down 2-0, Ali Holm battles back to make it a 2-2 count against freshman Madison Miller. Ali leans in, starts the motion, and delivers. Chopped foul towards the FGCU dugout. Now still 2-2 two two count.
Again, the 2-2 pitch. Swung on and a single there for Ty Hardiman. So Faith Alexander will step in. The runner on and Ty Hardiman. Hardiman reaches base the second time today. First time on a walk, this time on a single. Alexander 0 for 2 so far, ground out to second and third. Enfield also playing in again, trying to get her out again. Foul fly ball over towards the FGCU side. Diving effort from catcher Neely Peterson just misses it. Cowell moved to one and one. Still only one runs across the plate. That's for FGCU as we are in the bottom of the fifth. That pitch crosses low and away. Two and one now. Eagles took the lead off a solo shot from Taylor Phillip back in the top part of this fifth inning. Two one count here with one out. That one's going to be shot into center field and Faith Alexander will get on here with one out. So now the Owls have two runners on with Katie Greep at the plate. Umpire will clean off home plate. Greep reached on an error earlier on. And then grounded out her second time up. Kelly Holm being challenged here by this Owls offense. First pitch to Greep. Found off down the third base side. Runners will go back to their bases. So only one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Owls with one in scoring position. Lead run on first. 0-1 count here to Katie Greep. Chip shot into left field. Catch is made. And now the Eagles have two down. Taylor Cates will step in. And we've seen what she can do for this Owls offense. She's worked some magic so far this year, trying to do the same again here and give her team the lead. As it looks like we're going to have another mound visit. From head coach David DeRiss. 702, 3, 392, and 3. 702, 392, and 3. In his 20th season at FGCU, 20th season as a head coach. Pretty impressive record there from him. Thirteen and twenty-eight this season, six and twelve in the eighth Sun, ranked 106 in the RPI rankings. Taylor Cates, going to get some magic here for Kennesaw State. First pitch to her is watched in low for ball one. One oh count here with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. Second pitch upstairs and away. 2 and 0 now the count. Owls trail the Eagles by 1. 2 0. Misses high. 3 0 to Taylor Cates. Trying to not pitch to her after seeing what she can do so far this season. 
Try not to give her that pitch where she wants it. 3-0 pitch on the way. And that one gets in there for strike one. So 3-1 count here. With two outs in the bottom of the fifth, the Owls and the Eagles. Eagles currently lead by one. Solo home run in the top of the fifth gave them the lead. 3-1 pitch, misses outside, and the Eagles load the bases. Brenaya Bailey will step in to try and give the Owls the lead. Two outs, bases are loaded. Hardeman on third. Alexander on first. And Taylor Cates on first. First pitch misses for ball one. Got to be careful not to walk a batter in here if you're FGCU. Big inning in this game. Second pitch gets in there, strike one. The amount of FGCU fans here, if they get out of this, I can bet you the roar will be pretty loud. The Owls score here, same thing. 1-1 pitch on the way. About off backwards towards the screen, and the Owls are down to the last out of the half inning. Owls lead the hits category with three, but the category that matters is the runs. And the Eagles lead that one one to nothing. Here in the bottom of the fifth, a 1-2 count with two outs to Brenaya Bailey. Allie Hume trying to get out of the inning. Motion and delivery. That one's chopped foul. Runners on the move, ready to go. A little early on it. Still a one-two count. The pitch, that one's in the dirt. Count moved to two and two. Nice job from Bailey to keep an eye on that one. Kara Cooper in the on-deck circle. Two's across the board. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch on the way. Again, chopped foul down the third base side. And out of play. As we get back set. 2-2 two -two pitch. From Hume to Bailey. This is outside and the count's full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. The bases are loaded and the Owls are threatening to tie the ball game here. FGCU looking to maintain their lead. A big pitch in this game. From Ali Hume to Brenaya Bailey. The pitch on the way and driven into right field. One run will score, two will score and the Owls have taken the lead. Brenaya Bailey with some timely hitting allows the Owls to jump on top two to one. Faith Alexander and Ty Hart have been the two to score. A two RBI single for Brenaya Bailey. And some big times and that'll be the end of the day for Ali Hume. As we'll step aside while the new pitcher warms up, we'll tell you about it whenever we come back. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls take the lead courtesy of Renaya Bailey. Two RBI single to right field. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning with two outs, bases were loaded. Kara Cooper now at the dish, facing off a new pitcher in Emily Estroff. Estroff comes into today with a 6.20 ERA. One and four record, one save, 44 innings pitch, 63 hits given up, 43 runs, 39 of them earned. That one's going to be driven in the gap as well, and the Owls will tack on one more. Kiara Cooper scores Katie, or excuse me, Taylor Cates. So the Owls had runners on the corners, now it's just runners in scoring position. Kira. Cooper on first, Brunaya Bailey on second, and M.G. Anderson at the plate, trying to continue the inning with the for the Owls. All of these runs coming with two outs. All the runs so far in the game have came with two outs. The three in this inning for the Owls, and the one in the top of the fifth for the Eagles. Owls up to six hits on the day. Eagles only with two. Two errors to the Eagles' names as well. First pitch missed for a ball. Second pitch. Gets in there in the top part of the zone, one and one. 43 runs, 39 of them earned against Emily Estroff. 27 walks, 15 strikeouts, giving up 14 doubles, two triples, and three home runs. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. And that one misses. 2-1, and one. the count will move to. Owls with a three spot put up here in the bottom of the fifth. All the scoring so far has come in the fifth inning for both teams in this ball game. Two and one pitch on the way. And that one missed on the inside. Count moved to three and one. Owls trying to extend their lead even more. It's currently three to one. Pitch on the way. Misses outside. And the bases are reloaded. Bella Galloway gets on. The Owls will have batted through their batting order. Galloway, the catcher, the right-handed hitter. That's 500 when the bases are loaded. Five RBIs so far this season. Three doubles. First pitch to her. Swung on and fouled. That'll go down towards the KSU dugout, but... Nobody there in time to make the play. So I'll go down to strike one. Here's still in the bottom of the fifth here with two outs. Owls lead the Eagles by a score of three to one. Both teams looking to snap a six game losing streak. Coming into today. On one pitch, misses upstairs, one and one now. Reminder, this is the first game of our double header here on the KSU Owl Network. First game. Right now, the Owls up 3-1. Second game will start approximately 30 minutes after this one ends. That's going to be hit down the third base side and pulled foul. Estroff trying to get her team out of the inning. 1-1 one, one pitch, excuse me, 1-2 pitch, fouled off. We'll try the 1-2 again. Galloway with a ground out and a strikeout today. 1-2 pitch again. That one gets in there for strike three. And with the bases loaded this time, the Owls aren't able to do anything with it, but Bernaya Bailey scored two on her bases loaded, two RBI single to give the Owls a 3-1 to one lead as we head to the top of the six. And you're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls take the lead in the bottom of the third after they give up a solo home run, or excuse me, in the bottom of the fifth. They gave up a solo shot home run in the top of the fifth. We head to the top of the sixth with the score currently 3-1 to one here between the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles and the Kennesaw State Owls. Appreciate you hanging out with us here on this beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Kennesaw. Bryce Gobert on the call. Bennett back to work. First pitch misses. Gets in there. Looks like it was a little inside. Called strike one. Davenport 0 for 2 today. Senior Ben right-handed. Facing off against right-handed pitcher Melanie Bennett. On one pitch, misses outside. One on one now. This Bennett gets ready to deliver. Motion. Hit directly towards Faith Alexander. It's shortstop. Throw to first. Now the baby grabs that one. And the Owls have their first out of the inning. Back to the top of the order. That was Reedy Davenport. Now Riley Oaks at the plate. Walking a stolen base so far today. Infield plays in. First pitch misses loan away. Count will go to 1 0. That one's fouled off again down the third baseline. Almost at head coach for the Eagles, David DeRose. Seen enough of those in his 20 seasons here at FGCU. Didn't even move a muscle. 1-1 one, one count here with one out in the top of the six. Chopped again towards Faith Alexander. Arnold needs to make the play. Throws the ball out of the, above the head of Bernaya Bailey. Unable to jump for it. And will go down as a single and an air on Faith Alexander that allows Riley Oaks to reach second. So FGCU with runners in scoring position now. Threatening to try and at least get one back in this inning, if not tie the game. Kana Davis, the right fielder, fly out and a strikeout today. To turn our luck around. Bennett's first pitch. This is high. Want to know the count. Want to know now the count. Fouled off down the right side here in first base. One and one. Bennett trying to figure out how to get her team out of this inning. Swing on and miss. Maybe a little tip on it at the plate from Kana Davis. Nonetheless, moves the count to one and two. One out here in the top of the sixth. The Owls on top of the Eagles by a score of three to one. A little bit of shade now covering Bailey Park. As the 1-2 pitch is on the way and just misses a little low for a strike three call. Count will move to two and two. Bennett trying to get the second out and their seventh strikeout. That one's chopped foul. Gonna make a nice grab is David DeRose, third base and head coach for Florida Gulf Coast.
2-2 pitch and a swing and miss. Melanie Bennett with her seventh strikeout on the day. Throw from Bella Galloway to Ty Hardeman on second. Just launching Riley Oaks. And now with two away, the Owls trying to go back to getting their bats firing once again. Bennett with seven Ks on the day. Looking for number eight here. Against Emily Estroff. First pitch missed for a ball. Second pitch gets in here. First strike one. Fastball right down the middle. Oaks still standing on second, nobody holding her on. Bennett gets ready, set and delivers. High fly ball in the infield. Taylor Cates trying to get under it in the sun. Leans back, makes the grab, and gets the Owls out of the inning with no damage done. We'll head to the bottom of the six. Owls up to bat here and still leading 3-1 to one on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls lead the Eagles of FGCU by a score of three to one. New batter at the dish here for the Owls will be number 33, Laura Bishop. Pinch hitting for Kennesaw State. Right-handed batter, bats 118 on the year so far. One walk, four strikeouts, and a double. To her name, watches the first pitch get in there for strike one. A well, one pitch from Estra gets in and misses low. One on one now the count. Miss drop working fast here. Second, third pitch rather gets in there. Strike two. Quickly a one-two count here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The Owls lead the Eagles by a score of three to one. One-two pitch on the way. Misses high. Kennesaw State flag and the Georgia flag out in right center. Blown in the wind, the U.S. flag, American flag, standing still. As the sun's peeking back through. Fouled off backwards into the crowd. Count moves to two and two. So Estroff with the 2-2 pitch to Laura Bishop. 
Misses outside. Count goes full three and two. Still a three one here for three one lead here for Kennesaw State. Three two count now. It's dropped to Bishop. And on a leadoff walk here for Kennesaw State and Laura Bishop. Brings up Ty Hardiman. A walk and a single as Madison Miller will come out to run the bases for Laura Bishop. A walk and a single that off the single. Ty Hardiman ended up coming around to score. It's now with a speedy Madison Miller on. Hardiman looking to extend the Owls lead. So Madison Miller will be re-entering. First pitch to Hardiman is infield fly right at Emily Astroff. Short pop up on the first pitch and that's one away here for the Eagles in the bottom of the six. Back to the top of the order. For Faith Alexander, the shortstop singled her last time up as well and Came around to score. Miller's still standing on first after Laura Bishop walked on a full count. Miller goes. That one's fouled off. Third base side. Well, one the count here. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Owls on top of the Eagles by a score of three to one. Miller goes again, came back. Pitch missed upstairs. One and one now the count. Neshoff gets set and delivers. Miller again faked going, that one gets in there for a strike. One and two count. Checks Trim and Case signs over at third. Checks the wristband. And the one two delivery. Swing and a miss. Strikeout from Faith Alexander. Doesn't look too happy with the home plate umpire. She walks off. Katie Greep reached on an air earlier on. Stole a base since. Then in the bottom of the first, a ground out and a fly out. Miller going for real this time, not faking it, slides in there. And is safe. That'll be her seventh stolen base of the year for Madison Miller. Two down here for the Eagles in the bottom of the sixth. Trying to not let any more Owl batters cross the plate. 1-0 pitch to Katie Greep. We'll check at third to see if she went. Third base umpire Dwayne Shoemate says no. Count moves to 0-2 as that pitch was high and inside. 2-0 pitch on the way. Chopped towards... Second and Hope Hernandez throw over to Casey Hoover. Standing on first. And we'll head to the top of the seventh where the Eagles need two to tie it and extend this ball game when we come back. It's more softball from the, in the Ace Sun here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. We head to the top of the seventh where the Owls lead the FGCU Eagles by a score of three to one. FGCU needs two runs to extend the ball game. First pitch from Melanie Bennett is a swing and a miss. Casey Huber at the dish. Oh, one pitch is down the right side line, but foul into the Owl bullpen. Quickly an 0-2 count. O2 pitch on the way for Melanie Bennett. Off speed's high. Bennett with seven Ks on the day. Three strikeouts here would put her in double digits with 10. One two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, she has eight. Quick reminder, this is game one of our Eight Sun Saturday doubleheader here on the KSU Island Network. Game two of a, this three-game series will take place approximately 30 minutes after this one closes. McKenna Batterton steps up. First pitch from Bennett misses high and away, 1-0. Batter 10 with two flyouts, one to Ty Hardeman at second and one to Kiara Cooper in right. Bennett checks the glove for the pitch. Starts the motion, pushes off and delivers on the outside for strike one. One one count here with one out. Again, that one tipped, hit off the umpire's helmet. Second time we've seen that today. Throwing his hands in the air and joking with the crowd. Count will go to one and two. So McKenna Batterton still at the plate here with the one-two count. Melanie Bennett, eight Ks on the day, only one walk and one earned run against her. Six and a third innings pitch, three hits given up. One-two pitch on the way. Called strike three on the outside. That's number nine for Melanie Bennett. Neely Peterson, the catcher. These two had a battle at the last time. Peterson was at the plate. A long at bat. Bennett had her number last time and won the battle this time. First pitch misses inside, 1-0. Peterson with a single and a strikeout today. One for two, her third at bat right now. Second pitch misses high, 2-0. Bennett trying to go three up, three down. Howells have done it twice today. Back in the fourth, Bennett had two strikeouts. And in the third, she had one in there, three up, three down. 2-0 pitch, gets in there, strike one. Two balls, one strike, two outs here in the top of the seventh. The Owls on top of the Eagles right now, three to one. Eagles down to their last two strikes and last out. Two errors on the board here for the Eagles this afternoon. Three hits, one run. Owls with no one error, five hits and three runs. That one's fouled backwards high up off the screen. We'll stay in play. 
And now down to their final out here in game one. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Bennett looking for strikeout number 10. She'll step back onto the rubber, look towards the dugout and get the pitch. Checks the sheet on the back of the glove. Starts her motion. Wind up. Delivery on the 2-2 pitch. Again, fouled up. High off the screen. And we'll try the 2-2 again. Another battle here from Neely Peterson. Trying to keep this game alive for the Eagles. 2-2 count here with two outs in the top of the seventh. Bennett has the pitch and gets set. Starts the motion, the push off, the throw. Sent foul towards the FGCU dugout and on top of it out of play. So again, 2-2. Count fell off the second foul ball of this at bat. 96 pitches from Melanie Bennett here so far, faced only 24 batters. Nine strikeouts, giving up a home run and one walk. Six and two thirds innings pitch, looking to get her 10th win on the year. Has the pitch and is set. The motion started. The 2 2 pitch on the way. Fouled up high off the screen and into the crowd again. It's a battle here between these two. It's been at every at bat so far today. Crowd anxiously awaiting to see if Melanie Bennett can get number 10. 129 on the season, going for 130. The 2 2 pitch. Fly ball. Foul out of play behind home plate. Fourth ball fouled off. And a really nice job here from Neely Peterson to stay alive. Step back into the left side batter's box, the right-handed hitter. Umpire shows 2-2, Bennett gets set, starts to delivery and delivers. Swing and a miss, she gets number 10. And the Owls take game one. Melanie Bennett with a one, two, three, three strikeout. Top of the seventh inning, giving the Owls the victory. Snapping the Owls six game losing streak, but extending FGCUs to seven. We'll be back in about 30 minutes for game number two of this Ace on Saturday doubleheader between the Owls and the Eagles. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Here on the KSU Owl Network, the Owls take game one, three to one.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. We are just getting underway here for game number two of our Saturday A-Sun doubleheader here on the KSU Owl Network. Bryce Gobert on the call as we get started here. First pitch from our new pitcher in game number two, Lindsey Kite. This is inside for ball one. Kite comes into today with a 5.36 ERA. Zero wins, five losses, 45 and two-thirds innings pitch, 67 hits, giving up 55 runs, 35 of them earned, 22 walks, and 34 strikeouts. <laughs> 1 0 pitch showing bunt is our leadoff hitter and pitcher Riley Oates. Oaks. That one's going to be chopped. And the gap between Hardiman and Bailey in a leadoff single here for FGCU. And Riley Oaks. See here on the mound in the bottom part of this inning. We'll bring up a new face that the Owls haven't seen yet. Number four, Avery Ver Verhanas. Bianco, excuse me. FGCU gets a leadoff runner on. Viancos, left-handed batter, throw down to first. Hardiman gets the tag on the helmet. Called safe. Head coach for FGCU, David DeRos, De will go out to check on Runner in Oak. She looks to be okay, and we'll get back underway. 0-1 our count here to Avery Viancos. Comes in to this game, batting a 259. 15 hits on the season, six runs, one RBI. Two doubles to her name. Shows bunt. Rolls backwards. To go foul, and the count will go to 0-2. So runner in scoring position here early on in game number two here for the Eagles. Kite's pitch. Hits Biancos on the knee, and it's a free bag for the Eagles. So they got two runners on in their first two batters up. She'll walk that one off down the first baseline. Looks to be okay. Rudy Davenport was the leadoff man last game in game number one. Went 0 for 3 in that game. Just a little bit ago. Kite winds up, starts the motion, the delivery. Showing bunt again, that one directly to Lindsey Kite. Throw to first. Runners will advance. So a sack bunt. With one out, we'll get Reedy Davenport at first, but Viancos moves to second, Oaks moves to third. Cannon Davis playing right field this game, number 15, steps in. First pitch to her is called strike one from Lindsey Kite. On one pitch on the way. Misses the zone, one and one. Umpire has switched around a little bit now. At home plate, Jose Chaparro, Dwayne, Sh Dwayne Shoemate will be at first, and Kevin Bessemer 
at third. 1-1 pitch from Kite. Chopped in the gap and an early 1-0 lead for FGCU. Maybe two throw home. Not in time and away from the plate. One out here in the top of the first and FGCU jumps out to an early 2-0 lead. So an RB, two RBI single there for Kana Davis. Allows both runners that got on to score here, still with one out in the top of the first. Kite's pitch to be driven into center field. Under it, that is grief to make the grab. So that's two away here for Kennesaw State, but FGCU's, FGCU's already done some damage. And the Owls with an uphill battle early on, down 2 nothing. McKenna Batterton will step into the batter's box after Emily Estroff flies out to center field. Batterton with two flyouts and a strikeout in game one. Watches that one go by for ball one. Kite gets the pitch, checks the armband. Starts her motion, winds up and delivers. Misses outside, ball one. Kite again on the motion. Starts the delivery, the wind up and throw. Count now 3-0, and oh. correction on that last one. The kite with an uphill battle here. The runner on, the pitch, gets in there, strike one. See Kite, the junior from Fortson, Georgia. Harris County High School product. Left-handed pitcher. 3-1 pitch on the way. Swung on and hit tarts. Ty Hardeman off of her. Throw won't be in time to first. And FGCU gets another runner on so with one in scoring position at second. Batterton gets on at first. We'll see if they score that in error on infield single. Based on last game, I believe they're going to put it as an error, and they will. So FGCU already in the seventh spot of the batting order here early on and top of the first of game number two at Bailey Park. Check swing fouled off backwards by Taylor Fia. Phila, excuse me. Third baseman today here for the Eagles. A little bit of a lineup change. Riley Oaks lead off and pitching. Avery Vianco, center field, is batting second. Reedy Davenport, shortstop, batting third. And Anna Davis, who's on second. Batting fourth. That pitch misses for ball one. Emily Estroff, who finished last game pitching, is the designated player, batting fifth. McKenna Batterton, who just got on on an air, batting sixth. Taylor Fia at the plate now, batting seventh. Abby Thomas, the catcher for today for the Eagles in game two, batting eighth. And Hope Hernandez, second baseman, batting ninth. Has a swing and a miss there from Taylor Fia. Brings the count to one and two here with two outs in the top of the second. The Eagles lead the Owls by a score of two to nothing. One two pitch from Kite on the way. Misses upstairs. Miller, Greep, and Anderson in left, center, and right. Cates at third, Alexander at shortstop, Hardeman at second, and Bernaya Bailey at first. With Lindsay Kite on the in the circle and Bella Galloway behind the plate. 2-2 pitch on the way from Kite. Gets in there for strike three. Her first strikeout on the day. Gets the Owls on the inning. But FGCU gets two across the plate as we head to the bottom of the first with the Eagles leading 2 to nothing here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back to Bailey Park. The Owls trail the Eagles by a score of two to nothing. Here in game two of our A-Sun Saturday doubleheader, Faith Alexander, leadoff man here for the Owls in the bottom of the first, watches the first pitch in for strike one. Alexander plays shortstop today. Greep playing center field. Taylor Cates playing third base. A three do up for the Owls here in the top of the first. Second one misses outside. Batting fourth will be Brenaya Bailey on first base. Kara Cooper, the designated player for game two here, will be batting fifth. Ty Hardeman playing second will bat sixth. M.G. Anderson playing right will bat seventh. As that one's chopped into left field and a leadoff single here for the Owls and Faith Alexander. M.G. Anderson playing right field, batting seventh. Madison Miller playing left field, batting eighth. And Bella Galloway behind the plate, batting ninth, playing catcher. Katie Greep will step into the batter's box here. Left-handed hitter versus a right-handed pitcher. And Riley Oaks. Last game was in center field. Greep showed bunt. Pulled it back. Misses strike zone. 1 0. Rebatting 256 on the year. Shows bunt again, fouls it off down the third base side. 1 1 the count. Riley Oaks comes in today as the righty with a 3.88 ERA. Two wins, eight losses, two saves. 57 and two-thirds innings pitch, 71 hits given up, 41 runs, 32 of them earned. 29 walks, 20 strikeouts, given up 13 doubles, two triples, and nine home runs. 2-2, two -two, or excuse me, 1-1 one -one pitch. As Alexander was on her way to second, she'll have to go back. Moves the count to one and two. Oaks asked for a new ball. We'll get it, and Greep will step back in. Oaks looking for a first strikeout on the day here in the bottom of the second. Pitch to Greep, fouled off backwards towards the screen. And we'll try it again. Greep in game one reached on an air her first time up, had a stolen base. Grounded out twice to second and flew out to left field. Pitch misses outside, Alexander on the steal to third, gets in there safe. So a stolen base for Faith Alexander as that one missed outside. Count goes to two and two. Two-two pitch. Swung on and hitting shallow right center, and that'll get down. Faith Alexander will go to third. Throw won't be in time. Katie Greep gets in, and the Owls have runners on the corners. A little bit of confusion there on the right side from the Eagles as Taylor Cates will step up to the plate. Looked like Hope Hernandez was going to maybe go back and get it, but lost it as it got in the air. And Kana Davis wasn't going to be able to get there in time. So Taylor Cates will step in. Right-handed batter versus the right-handed pitcher. First pitch to her, she takes for ball one. Batting 377 on the year. Played and started in 37 games this year. All of them here for the Owls. 1-0 pitch. Again, watch as it misses high, 2-0. and -0. 26 runs scored with 43 hits. 11 of them have been doubles. 12 of them have been home runs. 30 RBIs, that's team leading for Taylor Cates. As the 2-0 pitch comes in and misses inside. Or crosses the plate as a strike, rather. Looked inside from here. Count goes to two and one. Two one pitch on the way. That one 
Forces Taylor Cates to jump out of the way as it was rolling towards her feet. 3-1 now here. Owls threatening to load the bases. Still with nobody out here in the bottom of the second. FGCU currently on top 2-0. Both teams with two hits. Owls with the early air. Pitch on the way. The 3-1. Swung on and driving deep left field. Going back at the wall. It's gone! Taylor Cates makes this a 3-2 ball game, giving the Owls the lead. Her 13th home run of the year, and the Owls are on top 3-2. Three to Taylor Cates doing what she does best in hitting bombs. Comes in with a three-run home run here for the Owls in the bottom of the first. Took matters into her own hands as Bernaya Bailey steps up to the plate. Watches that one in for ball one. one -oh pitch to Bailey. Half swing. Fouled off backwards, one and one. One one pitch on the way to Bailey, and she hooked that off Oaks glove. Race to first throw, not in time. Owls get their fourth hit of the day, courtesy of Brenaya Bailey on an infield single, and the first four batters here for the Owls all have hits. Kira Cooper. Looking to continue this hot bat streak the Owls have. Still with no outs here in the bottom of the second. The Owls take the lead, 3-2. to two. First pitch misses for a ball. Second pitch fouled off end field. Stayed in play. There to make the grab was Casey Huber. Ty Hardman will step up to the plate now here with one out for the Owls. First pitch gets in there for strike one. Ty Hardman extended her Hit game streak to four last game. I'm going to make it five here. Showed bunt. Pulled back. Count goes to one and one. Cooper was the first out for the Owls here in the bottom of the first. Hardeman, the runner on, trying to Get some more action here for the Owls as she watches that one miss high again, two and one. Two one pitch on the way from Oaks. Swung on and fouled off backwards towards the crowd. On top of the press box now, count will move to two and two. The Owls this year with 28 home runs, 13 of them courtesy of Taylor Cates. 2-2 pitch misses for ball three. Taylor Cates leads the Owls in nine offensive categories as that one's fouled off backwards towards the screen. Leads the Owls in batting average with a 377. Runs scored with now 27. 
44 hits, 13 home runs, 33 RBIs. 3-2 pitch on the way to Hardeman. Has to move her hips and get out of the way, and that'll go down as a walk. Owls as a team have 100 and now 32 RBIs. Taylor Cates with 33 of them. Leads the team in slugging percentage with a 789. Stolen bases and seven. First pitch to Bella Galloway and there for strike one. Oh and one count here with one out. Two runners on here for Kennesaw State as the Owls take the lead three to two here in the bottom of the first. Swung on and hitting the gap between shortstop and second. The ball gets loose, nobody able to move and the Owls have now load the bases once again. Loaded the bases last game whenever they broke the game open, three to one. Have them loaded now with Madison Miller standing at the dish. Owls now on their eighth hitter of this first inning. Eagles got to the seventh spot as well, and that's where they ended. Madison Miller trying to continue the game for or the inning rather for the Owls. Comes in batting at 239. Doesn't have a hit with bases loaded this year. Bats 125 with runners in scoring position. She has two of those. 16 hits, 10 runs, one RBI on the year. No extra base hits yet. A freshman from Jefferson, Georgia, Jackson County High School product, watches the first one for ball one. one -oh pitch, misses, catches that outside corner. A lot of these looking like balls from up here turn out to be strikes. She slaps that one towards left center. Everyone's going to have to get back to a base. Ty Hardeman won't be able to, and it's a double play to end the inning. Hardeman was on her way to third, was too far away to check up. Madison Miller flies out to left center, and the Eagles get out of the inning with... Three runs coming across the plate here for Kennesaw State. They lead 3-2 to two as we head to the top of the second here on the KSU Allen Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls take the lead in the bottom of the first inning, 3-2. to two. Courtesy of a Taylor Cage, three-run home run to left center. Fly out, or rather a line out to Bernaya Bailey is the first batter, Abby Thomas, who is retired by the Owls. Hope Hernandez, the second baseman today. Started off at first in game one, got moved to second after a couple innings. Lindsey Kite gave up two hits in the first inning, two runs, both of them earned. 
Now one strikeout, a pop-up, and two quick outs. All it's dropped. Ball is called foul. Owls with a chance to get two out on two pitches. Galloway just couldn't handle the ball. They got hit up right in front of her. And head coach Trip McKay will want an explanation on why that one wasn't ruled fair. Umpires will have a meeting to discuss it, see what they saw. Because if that ball's fair, Galloway made the throw to Bailey, who stepped on the bag, and that throw was made in time. So the Owls with a chance to have two outs, and we'll see what the umpires decide. And it looks like we're going to stick with the original call. It was a foul ball. Both coaches got the explanations they wanted, and Hope Hernandez will step back into the box with an 0-1 count and one out here in the top of the second, her team down by one. A one pitch from Kite on the way. Outside low in the dirt, gets past Galloway, but nobody on, so no damage done. Count will go to one and one. One one pitch on the way from Kite. Slap towards center field. Katie Grieb having to go back at it. Just goes over her head. That may be two. Throw to second. Faith Alexander there to stop it. Throw is off the bag. And Hope Hernandez gets in with a double. Riley Oaks. Pitcher here for the Eagles in game number two. Single her first time up and a stolen base. Now with a runner on second. First pitch, fastball right down the middle, strike one. Sun now peeking through the clouds that are popping up here in Kennesaw. Still a beautiful day, nice warm weather. A little bit of a breeze here, moving right to left. 0-1 pitch, showing bunt was Oaks. Gets away from Galloway, no chance to make the catch. Count will go now, 0-2. And, and 0-2 pitch on the way from Lindsey Kite with one out. This is upstairs, 1-2. Kite checks the wristband with the 1-2 count. Gets the pitch. Starts her motion. Pushes off. And delivers. Swing and a miss. Fouled off, rather. 1-2. and two. Still a 1-2 count here with one out. Owls leads 3-2. Here in the top of the second. One two pitch again, chopped, and a nice jumping effort from Lindsey Kite to make the throw to first to get the second out. What a play from Lindsey Kite. Oaks thought she had that one on the bounce over Kite's head. Kite jumped, got the glove up there, made the throw to first in time. And the Owls now a two away. Runner does advance and Hope Hernandez to third. First pitch to Avery Viancoats is fouled down third base line. Count will go to 0 1. Batting 259 on the year is Viancoats. 235 with two outs and 222 with runners in scoring position. 15 hits on the year, one RBI. 
a one pitch. Misses outside, one and one. Two outs, top of the second. Owls lead the Eagles by a score of three to two. Owls get five hits in the bottom of the first. Eagles get three. Or excuse me, two in the top. As Kite delivers the one one. And there's strike two. Owls in the top of the first, scored an air. Kite again looks towards the dugout to get the pitch. Has it. Motion and delivery. Swing and a miss. Gets the strikeout and the Owls in the inning with no more damage done. Nice job from Lindsey Kite on the strikeout at the end to give her team back to the bats. Whenever we come back, the Owls lead 3-2 to two here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back here to Bailey Park. A new pitcher into the game here for FGCU. We saw her at the end of last game. Emily Estroff. After the first inning starter, Riley Oaks gave up five hits and three runs. First pitch from Estroff misses inside. All three runs coming off of a three-run Taylor Kate home run. Bella Galloway at the plate. You're in the nine spot for, for the Owls. Players confused where that pitch was in the infield. Not sure how that wasn't a strike. Looked like it was in there pretty nicely. Must have been a little low. Count goes 2-0. Estrop's 2-0 pitch. Swung on and fouled. Second base. Hope Hernandez there to make the grab. And the Eagles have one away. Back to the top of the order. And Faith Alexander single and stole a base her last time up. Eschroff's first pitch gets in there for strike one on the outside. 6.16 ERA. One win, four losses, 44 and a third innings pitched here for Eschroff. Second pitch, misses low and away. Now one and one. 63 hits given up, 30, 43 runs, 39 of them earned. 27 walks, 15 strikeouts. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Chop towards shortstop, and Davenport doesn't have a throw, and Alexander reaches again. Nice job by Faith Alexander to use her speed to get over to first in time before Davenport could make the throw. Enfield was playing in. Shocked Haley Phila didn't go and make a grab on that herself. Looked like she had a little bit better ring on, on it than Reedy Davenport did, but nonetheless, the Owls have one aboard here with one out, and Katie Greep at the plate. She swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1-1 one, one, your count. Here with one out in the bottom of the second, Owls on top, 3-2. to two.
Couple of scoring changes. Estroff goes to pitcher. Oaks goes to the designated player, so they switch places as group fouls that one down the third base side. So Estroff now from designated player to pitcher. Riley Oaks now pitcher to designated player. Alexander singled her first time up, part of the crew that came in off the Taylor Cates three-run home run. One one pitch on the way, missed outside. Looks like Alexander might steal. Abby Thomas was ready for it. Count moves to one. Alexander ready to go. Estros pitch. That one's going to be hit down the right field line, going back in foul territory. To grab that was. Canna Davis. Unable to get there, and the count goes 2-2. Still only one out here at Bailey Park. Bryce Gobert on the call. Welcome Ewing, you here on this A-Sun Saturday doubleheader between the Florida Gulf Coast and the Kennesaw State Owls. 2-2 pitch. Misses outside. Count goes 3-2 full. Owls with five hits in the first inning. Bottom of the first. Get one here with Faith Alexander on. Only one out. Katie Greep at the plate with a full count. Pitch on the way. Swung on and popped up. A couple of FGCU players to make a play. Ball in and out of the glove of Abby Thomas. Same thing happened to Bella Galloway back in the top of the first inning. Or excuse me, top of the second. Owls get a little bit lucky there. And count remains 3-2. Grape gets the sign from head coach Trip McKay down on the third base side. Steps into the box. Estroff on the delivery, starts her motion. Swung on and hit deep right center field. Will someone be there to make the grab? The wind brings it back into the ballpark. Faith Alexander will have to return to first. And, folks, I believe on a non-windy day, that ball is gone. But you can see out in right field, the flags are currently straight out with the wind right now, blowing right to left and into the park. Ball was going pretty much in the gap between right field and center field, but just Hung left and made the grab for Avery Viancus easy. Taylor Cates fouls it off the third base side on the first pitch. Count will go to 0-1. Here now with two outs in the top bottom part of the second. Owls lead 3-2. to two. Cates her first time up, the three-run home run. I gave the Owls the lead. This time pops one up into the infield. Hope Hernandez there to make the grab and end the inning for the Eagles. No more damage done. The score remains the same. Three to two as we head to the top of the third. You're listening to the KSU softball here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls currently lead the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast by a score of 3-2. to two. Kennesaw State with a three-run bottom of the first. Eagles with a two-run top of the first. We're scoreless ever since. Lindsey Kate still in the circle here for Kennesaw State. Ground ball hit foul. Count moves to 0-1. Kite with two strikeouts so far, three hits, two earned runs. On one pitch here, misses upstairs. Forces Davin Board to duck out of the way. Count now at one and one here in the top of the third. Pitch misses outside, moves to two and one. Here for Lindsey Kite. Davenport, 247 batting average, 333 average when leading off. Two one pitch on the way. Swung on and hit. Looks like off her leg. She'll just need a quick second to recover. Count will go to two and two. Still checking on Davenport, making sure she's okay and good to go. Nods ahead, yes, and we'll get back underway. Two-two count, nobody out. Here in the top of the third, where the Owls lead the Eagles, three to two. Already beat our score from last game. Last game had four combined runs. We got five right now. That one's going to be driven. And to center field, hang up there with the wind, and Katie Greep will get under it to make the grab and grab out number one here for Kennesaw State. To start off the top of the third. Kana Davis will step into the batter's box and bat right-handed versus the left-handed pitching Lindsey Kite. Davis batting 381 on the year. Didn't register a hit in game one, two strikeouts and a flyout. First pitch to her. Misses low. 1 and 0. Kike again gets the call from the dugout. Checks the armband. Starts a motion and delivers. Again, misses low. 2 and 0. The wind up in motion. Swung on and hit directly to Madison Miller in left field. Gets the second out of the inning here for the Owls. And Emily Estroff now pitching for the Eagles. Will step into the batter's box again and be another right handed hitter for this Eagles team. It's set. Starts her motion and delivers. This is inside 1 0. So, a good crowd on hand here in Bailey Park for a Saturday afternoon doubleheader between the Owls and the Eagles. Again, the pitch. That one gets in there for strike number one. One and one count here with two outs in the top of the third. Owls on top by one. Miller again set, starts her motion and delivers. Swung on and fouled backwards towards the screen. Count moves to one and two. 
Kai looking for her first win on the year today. Owls snapped a six game losing streak. Winning game one of this series, FGCU extended it to seven with the loss. Another pitch fouled off towards the KSU dugout. Count remains one and two and we'll try it again. One-two pitch on the way. Just misses the strike zone. Count goes to one and two. Kite on the two-two pitch. Swung on and heading in foul down the right side. Still a 2-2 count here with two outs in the top of the third between the Owls and the Eagles. Kite looking for strikeout number three on the day. The pitch swung on and fouled down the right sideline once again. Turn one in that direction. Kite gets the pitch call. Starts in motion, winds up and throws. Swung on and... This time fouled backwards towards the screen, so a battle with the two pitchers right now between Estroff and Kite. Still a 2-2 count. On the way, swung on and hit into play. Kite. With the throw to first to Bernaya Bailey, the crowd erupts, and the Owls get out of the inning. They still lead it by a score of three to two. When we come back, they'll be hitting. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network. Welcome back to Bailey Park. The Owls lead the Eagles of FGCU by a score of three to two as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Renaya Bailey steps up to the dish. Trying to increase the Owls lead. First pitch to her, half check swing. She went around all the way, home plate umpire. Says the count goes to 0-1-1. Jose Chaparro. On one pitch. This is outside. One one the count. Pitch on the way. Again misses outside. Good placement. Just misses outside. Good height. Just misses outside. Two and one now the count here. 
In the bottom of the third, Owls on top, 3-0, three 3-2. Three to Pitch on the way. Bailey watches that off speed in. For the count to go, 2-2. Two -two. As Estroff trying to strike out leadoff batter, Bernaya Bailey, the pitch. This is outside and low, three and two. Three, two pitch on the way. Swung on and driven down the left side line in the left field there to make a nice stop was McKenna Batterton. And leaves it to be a single for Brenaya Bailey to start off the third inning. Bottom of the third inning here for the Owls. Kara Cooper will now step in, designated player here for game number two. Going to be getting the signs from Coach Trip McKay down the third base sign. Brenaya Bailey. Checks over there and gets the signs as well. A nice job and a nice bunt there from Kiara Cooper. Advances Brenaya Bailey to second. Nice sack bunt. Only one out here for the Owls. Bringing up Ty Hardiman. Walked her last time up. And a good game number one. Will the walk a single and a fly out. Two for three, or excuse me, one for two. Two nineteen batting average on the year. First pitch, which is inside. One and zero. Oh. One zero oh pitch, found off down the third base side. Someone. What are you going to be able to get over there and make the grab? Count moves to one and one. That one fouled off backwards towards the screen. Count now moves to one and two. Still a one-two count here to Ty Hardeman. Bernaya Bailey standing on second. The pitch swung on and hit down the third base side. Curving foul. One-two count here to Kiara Cooper, trying to stay alive. Watches that one pass for strike number three, a good fastball from Emily Estroff. M.G. Anderson. The solo her first time up. Now at the plate. First pitch misses way high. 1-0 now with two outs. And the bottom of the third. Owls still lead 3-2. to 1-0 no pitch. Misses outside and moves 2-0. Infield playing in. Two up pitch, and there for strike one. Two one count on the way. Two one pitch from Estroff. Swung on and fouled towards the Eagle dugout. Gets down foul. 
Two two now the count. Two two pitch on the way from Estroff. Swung on and hit towards Hernandez. Throw to first. So Huber will get out number three and retire the side here for Kennesaw State. Only one hit in that inning for the Owls, and they still have the one-run lead. They currently lead three to two. When we come back, it's Eagles back at the plate here on the KSU Owl Network. Back here at Bailey Park, the Owls lead the Eagles by a score of three to two. That one's gonna be hitting the left field. A nice diving grab there from Madison Miller and the hard hit ball from McKenna Batterton. A first pitch swing there and the Owls have one away. Haley Fia at the plate now watches the first one in for ball one. This guy gets the pitch, checks in the arm in. Starts to motion and throws the 1-0, and that one's going to be chopped into left field and get down fair, some single for Taylor Fia. Good throw there from Madison Miller. Make sure it didn't go two. Throw is right on target to Ty Hardeman, who is got a man at second. Fourth hit of the day for the Eagles, courtesy of Taylor Phila. Gets the inning started here for the Eagles, trying to cut the one-run lead to make it a tie ball game. Abby Thomas, first pitch. Called ball one. One oh pitch on the way from Kite. When she gets her pitch call, starts the motion and delivers. Fastball chopped foul. Third base side count moves to one and one. Kite gets the pitch. 1-1 one, one count here with one out in the top of the fourth. Miss high and inside. 2-1. and one. Two, one pitch on the way. 
Runner goes, throw it second. Called safe. And Coach Trim McKay is going to come out. And ask some questions of third base umpire Kevin Bessemer. Gets the explanation, going to explain it to Ty Hardman. Second time today that there's been a throwdown that has been. Not gone the owl's way. So a stolen base here for Phila. Count now at two and two is the pitch before the throw. Called strike two. Still only one out here in the top of the fourth. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way from Kite. Misses low, 3-2. and two. Three, two pitch on the way from Kite. Fouled backwards off the screen towards the Owls dugout. Count now full. The 3 2 pitch on the way from Kite. Misses low, and it's go down as a walk. So Abby Thomas walks, bringing up Hope Hernandez, who last time up hit a double. So only one out here in the top of the fourth. The Owls lead by one. Kite's first pitch, swung on, foul tip. Strike one. Oh, one pitch from Kite. Swung on and hit to left field. Madison Miller going back on the warning track. Makes a nice running grab. Throw back to second. Won't be in time. Miller been busy so far in this game with a nice grab there. Gets the second out of the inning for the Owls. Riley Oaks, the starting pitcher for this game, now designated player. Up at the plate. Single, single her first time up, but ground out her second. One and two on the day. First pitch misses outside, one and oh. One oh pitch, misses high. Count moves to two and two here with two outs. Throw down to first to Hardman just to try and keep Taylor Phila on us back on second. One one count here with two outs on the top of the fourth. Owls on top by one, three to two. One one pitch from Kite. Swung on and chopped. She sticks the glove up and makes the grab. Lindsay Kite having a great day so far here for the Owls. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, the Owls on top, 3-2 to two, here on the KSU Owl Network.
Back here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Madison Miller, leadoff man here for the Owls, been busy so far today. Fly out her first time up. Watches that one in for strike one. Owls dug out. As always, cheering on their team. She slaps that one down the third baseline. Across the base fair, but landed foul. Estrafa waits. Now delivers the 0-2, misses upstairs. One two pitch, swung on and missed by Madison Miller, and that goes down as a strikeout for Estrov. Bella Galloway will step in. She'll slap one down the third baseline, and out of the glove, throw to first in time. Nice recovery there by Taylor Phila, in and out of her glove. Made the recovery, throw to first to Casey Huber, and too quickly away here for the Owls. First pitch to Faith Alexander misses the strike zone, one and oh. Second pitch as well, that one misses low this time. Here in the leadoff spot, Faith Alexander, two singles today so far. Two for two on the day. Again, watches one end strike, or excuse me, ball three. Three yo pitch from Estroff to Alexander. Gets in there, strike one. The Owls, when telling over seven hits, are 11 and five as Alexander walks with two outs. Seven or 11 and five whenever they have over seven hits. When allowing two runs, the Owls are eight and 23 this season. Alexander on her way to second. Called out. Great throw there from Abby Thomas. Alexander, her second time called out, trying to steal today. And Katie Grip will have to wait on her at bat until we get back. We head to the top of the fifth. The Owls still on top, 5-3-2. to three to two. You're listening to KSU Softball here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls lead the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast by a score of 3-2. to two. Here in the top of the fifth inning, Bryce Gobert on the call. Special shout out to my cameraman, Andrew Pelham, and producer for today, Bethany Brewerton. Bruton. Probably butcher bet that, but that's okay. Got the names right on the field, and that's what matters. Is First pitch to Avery Viancos is called ball one. Kite gets the pitch from the dugout. Showing bunt was Viancos, but pulled it back. Pitch missed low, 2 0. Pitch on the way, the 1 1. Bunt laid down. Ball was called foul. Bunt went backwards. Count will move to one and two. Quick score update. And the other game going on here in Kennesaw today, the baseball team currently in game two of their series, weekend series versus Jacksonville, currently trailing six to five as they head to the top of the eighth. Take a commanding win, 12 to two win yesterday. One, two count here to Fiancos. Pitch misses low and away, two and two. That one was a foul tip, swung on and missed. I guess she didn't get a tip of it, it was just hitting the equipment. With catcher Bella Galloway and the Owls have one away. So a strikeout for Avery Riancos brings up Reedy Davenport. Sack bunt. In a flyout so far today. Swung on a miss. Lindsey Kite with another out. Chases that one down on an infield pop fly. And just like that, the Owls have two away. Lindsey Kite having a good day fielding. Three strikeouts, four hits given up, two runs, both of them earned, only one walk. 71 pitches through five. Five and two thirds, that is, or excuse me, four and two thirds. First pitch to Canada Davis misses for ball one. Davis with a two RBI single back in the top of the first. As Kite throws fastball right down the middle, one and one. Gave the Eagles their only two runs of the day. One one pitch on the way. That one's chopper and I Bailey gonna try and make a run for it. Almost. Couldn't tell if she was gonna die for it or not. Ended up not. Ball falls foul. Count still one and two. Good bit of softball here going on at Bailey Park today. Owls took the first game three to one, snapped a six game losing streak. However, extended FGC used to seven. One-two pitch on the way from Kite. Misses low in the dirt. Two and two now. Here with two outs. And the top of the fifth, Owls lead three to two. Owls seven hits on the day. Eagles only with four. Only run, excuse me, only air belongs to the Owls. Kite gets the pit, pitch. Starts their motion. Delivers. Pop fly. Faith Alexander going back. And the outfield grass to make the grab. She does, and that'll end the inning here for the Owls. And they'll go back to the plate to get back to hitting. Here as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Owls on top, 3-2 to two here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Bailey Park. The Owls currently lead the Eagles of FGCU by a score of 3-2. to two. Katie Greep was at the plate when Faith Alexander got caught stealing. So she'll be back up, this time with a fresh count. Watches the first one in for ball one. one pitch on the way. Creep will slap that fair down the third base side. She'll have a chance to go three here. She passes two. Throw to third. Won't be in time, and Katie Greep has a triple. Right down the first base line. And I'm pretty sure she's happy she got the at-bat now. So a runner in scoring position, position with... Taylor Cates and her team leading 33 RBIs at the plate. That one just bounced fair. The first base umpire couldn't see it. That was Dwayne Shoemate. Umpire meeting will happen. Home plate umpire Jose Shaparo. Said it was fair. It looked fair from where we were at up here in the press box. So we'll see if it stands. The Owls have their eighth hit on the day. And Katie Greep will have her first triple of the season. Ruled fair, so it will stand. Head coach David DeRose for FGCU, just making sure that every umpire saw that ball fair. Trying to make sure that it's called how it is. Looked to be pretty clear from up here that that ball was fair. Nonetheless, Taylor Cates will be up at the plate with a runner in scoring position where she bats 429 with those kind of opportunities. Estros for pitch to her. Gets in there, strike one. Oh, one pitch to Cage. Swung on and hit back in the gap, and that'll score another run. The Owls extend their lead to two. Taylor Cage with her fourth RBI on the day, 34th on the season, and the Owls take a 4-2 to two lead. Renaya Bailey with two singles today. Steps up to the dish, looking to go three for three. First pitch she watches go for a ball. Owls with nine hits on the day. Seven and two when the Owls registered nine hits. 246 and 59 all time. Check that. Sorry, 198 and 37 all time when the Owls register nine plus hits. Second pitch was a ball to Brunaya Bailey, so she has a 2-0 count ahead of Estroff here. Estroff's pitch on the 2-0, swung on and missed by Bailey. Count will move to 2-1. and one. Owls this season when they score four runs or 12-5. and 2-1 pitch on the way, misses way upstairs, 3-1 and one now. No outs here yet. And the bottom of the fifth inning. Owls already have one run looking to score more. Taylor Cates on the bases. Through one pitch. Misses outside and it'll go down as a walk for Brunaya Bailey. So she's reached base in every at-bat. Two for two on the day with a walk. Bringing up designated player number 28, Kiera Cooper. With a fly out and a sack bunt. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe we see another one here. Advance the runners to second and third. First pitch, she watches go by as a strike on the inside part of the zone. 
Cooper bats 115 with runners in scoring position. Three home runs on the year, five doubles. And an 0-1 count here. That one misses high, 1-1. One and one. Count now even at one apiece, still no outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Owls lead 4-2, 1-1 pitch, swung on and driven down the left side line. Curving foul into the FGCU bullpen, count will go to 1-2. and two. Misses that one, or watches that one go by. And a strike out there for Estroff. So the Owls only now left with two outs as Estroff now starting to get into a rhythm. A one count here to Ty Hardiman. A walk and a strikeout so far here in game number two. Watches that one by for ball one. Pitch on the way, fouled off backwards towards the screen. Count will go to one and two here with one out in the bottom of the fifth. Owls on top, four to two. Hardiman slaps that one towards third. Step on the back, throw to first. Not in time. Bailey wanted to go to third. Cates was standing on the back after she was tagged out. So forced out at third, so all Phila had to do was step on the bag, throw to first, was off the bag, hit Hardiman in the feet, and rolled away. So runners on first and second, nobody on third. M.G. Anderson up at the plate. Won't go down as a hit for Hardiman. We'll go down rather as a fielder's choice. First pitch called strike one on M.G. Anderson. Good pitch there from Estroff. Oh, one pitch on the way. That one misses upstairs. One, one pitch on the way. Misses low, count goes 2-1. Allen's at the seventh spot in their order. Miller on the on-deck circle. Anderson at the plate. 2-1 pitch coming her way. Misses outside, 3-1. Three one pitch on the way. Gets in there for strike number two. Nice job there by Estroff to battle back. Full count now here at MG Anderson. Pitch on the way. Swung on and slapped in the gap between second and first base. And the Owls load the bases with Miller coming up to the dish. Bailey moves to third, Hardman moves to second. Anderson stands on first with Madison Miller. I'm turning to the dugout now. I 
So it looks like Laura Bishop will maybe be coming in to hit in her position. Still waiting to see. And it will be number 33, Laura Bishop. As a pinch hitter. So Miller will probably re-enter once we head to the top part of the sixth inning. Bishop doesn't have a hit this season with the bases loaded. Hasn't had an opportunity to get a hit with the bases loaded. No hits with two outs either. Has had an opportunity at that. No hits with runners in scoring position either. So kind of a new situation for her. First pitch, swung on and driven into right center field. There to make the grab, however, is Canna Davis. And the Owls only get one run across and extend their lead to four to two. We head to the top of the sixth. The Eagles taking a plate to bat again here on the KSU Owl Network. The day slowly starting to wind down here at Bailey Park as we head to the top of the sixth inning. The Owls on top of the Eagles by a score of four to two. Owls with ten hits on the day. Eagles only with four here in game number two. One air belongs to Kennesaw State. Estroff at the dish. Just got out of a nice little jam there. A little help from Cannon Davis in right field making that grab to grab the third out. Out of the bottom of that fifth inning. First pitch she fouled off. 0-1. Oh Kite goes elevated fast. Ball catches Estroff swinging at that one. Count now 0-2. Four strikeouts on the day so far to Lindsey Kite's name. Looking for number four here, but it's not just the pitching that's been good here from Lindsey Kite so far today. It's been the infield work as well. A two pitch swung on and hit going foul. Madison Miller in foul territory to make the grab. She will, and the Owls have one down. McKinnon Batterton now will step back up to the plate, reach on an error back in the top of the first. Flew out back in the top of the fourth as well. Just Madison Miller in left. Win oppo. Lindsey Kite been busy in the circle. First pitch in there, strike one. A line out, a fly out. And a couple of ground balls to her as well that she's had to make a throw on. So she has she's been busy in the infield, making nice plays. Getting the outs for the Owls. 0 1 pitch. This is inside, one and one. Yeah. 
Batterton from Norco, California. Senior left-handed hitter. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. This is upstairs and away, 2-1. Two one pitch again misses upstairs and away three and one. All right now with a battle here three one count in the top of the sixth. Pitch on the way. Shot Batterton on the elbow so a hit by pitch here will be a nice little gift there for FGCU. And the Eagles have one aboard here with only one out and the top of the sixth. Three forty start time here for game number two. Pitch on the way and driven down the right side line, pulling foul and down the right side line. Batterton back at first and Count moves to 0 and 1. 5:15 Loker time here in Kennesaw on a beautiful summer day. Spring, spring, summer. Feels like summer. Clouds finally starting to come in to the sky. Winds died down a little bit. Sun been hanging around all day. On one pitch on the way. Shot going to be driven into center field. Ball will get down. Throw to second. Step on it, and it's a force out. Great play by the Owls to get the second out. A little bit of hesitation there from McKenna Batterton. And going to second, couldn't tell if Grieve was going to drop that one. She did. She saw the little hesitation there from Batterton. Threw to Alexander, who all she had to do was step on the bag with the force out being at second. And the Owls get their second out of the half inning. We're going to get back to batting. As Abby Thomas, who walked her last time up. Steps into the dish. First pitch gets in there. Strike one. Oh, and one the count. No one pitch on the way. Misses inside, one and one. Okay, looks towards the dugout to get to get the pitch. She has it. Starts in motion and delivers. About to hit backwards towards the screen. One and two here with two outs in the top of the six. Owls on top. Four to two. Lindsey Kite on the one two pitch. Just that one's fouled off down the left sideline. Every ace on team in action here today. One two pitch here, still with two outs. Kite in the motion and delivery. Swung on and fouled backwards towards the screen. I mentioned every A-Sun opponent here in play this weekend. Owls' first game here in the doubleheader. 1-3-1. One, one. First game in North Florida between versus Stetson. North Florida won 14-1 in final in five innings. Louisville saw Eastern Kentucky play Bellarmine, where Eastern Kentucky took a 10-3 lead, and finally Liberty beat Jacksonville 3-0. As the 1-2 pitch here is swung on and fouled away. Jacksonville State and North Alabama also in action right now. Last checked, top of the seventh. Let's see if we can get a live score update on that. It was a 9-3 final for North Alabama.
One two pitch on the way again. That one misses in the dirt. Throw down to second. No tag available. His throw was off the bag. Alexander was a little late. Count now two and two. Kite trying to close out this inning here for the Owls. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. Check swing. Did not go, says third base umpire Dwayne Shoemate. Excuse me, that's Kevin Bessemer over there. So now a full count here with two outs in the top of the six. Owls lead by two with the runner in scoring position here for the Eagles. Abby Thomas awaits the 3-2. That pitch is low and away. And a two-out walk puts two runners on here for the Eagles. Hope Hernandez doubled her first time up, flew out the second. On the bag, or excuse me, at the plate. And it looks like we're going to have... A pitching change right here. Nice day here from Lindsey Kate. Kite, excuse me, not a thing to complain about from her. Three strikeouts, one double given up, five hits, two runs. Both of them earned. Faced 26 batters and 95 pitches with Melanie Bennett, who got the win in yesterday's game, trying to come in and get the save here for the Owls. And we'll step aside while she warms up. When we come back, more top of the sixth inning action here from Kennesaw and Bailey Park. Back here at Bailey Park, Owls trying to close out here in the top of the sixth. Melanie Bennett into the game. First pitch to Hope Hernandez is fouled off backwards towards the screen. Bennett got the win earlier on in game one today, win all seven. Nine wins, 13 losses, 134 innings pitched, 3.23 ERA. 148 hits allowed this season. First pitch is a strike, second pitch. Also a strike, a swing and a miss from Hernandez and count now 0-2 here with two outs. Information actually is not updated. She's actually 10 and 13 now. That one's gonna be driven into foul territory down the left side and out of play. 100, it should be 144 in a thirds innings pitch, 10 and 13. Got her 130th strikeout of the season back in game number one. Still an 0-2 count here with two outs. Pitch on the way. Swung on and driven high into left center field. Miller under it, makes the grab, and gets the Owls out of the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the six. Owls coming back up to the plate when we come back. They still lead 4-2 here on the KSU Owl Network.
Welcome back here to Kennesaw. New pitcher into the game here for the Eagles of FGCU. Matty Wicker comes into the game. Caroline Shmiko leading off here for the Owls. Yet to register a hit in 12 at-bats this season. One RBI, however, one walk. First pitch was a called ball one. Second pitch swung on and missed. Strike one. Count now even a one apiece. That one misses low in the dirt. Now two and one. Wicker's pitch. This is upstairs. Now three and one. Nice job here by Caroline Shemako. Forced Wicker to throw strikes. The three one count. And there for strike number two. Count goes full here in the bottom of the sixth where the Owls lead four to two. Swung on and hit, pop up in the infield. Taylor Filla there to make the grab. And the Eagles have one away with Faith Alexander back at the top of the order. It's a bat here for the Owls. Shemako, Alexander, and Greet, the three that were two up at the start of the bottom of the sixth inning here for Kennesaw State. Greep in the on deck circle. Alexander at the plate. Alexander with two singles and a stolen base as well. Caught stealing once today. First pitch misses low and away. 1-0. Oh. We're going to have a mound visit here from head coach David DeRose. Now meeting, or excuse me, circle meeting is over, and we're back to a 1-1 count here with Faith Alexander at the dish. That pitch misses upstairs and outside, now 2-1. and one. Two one pitch, and there for strike two, count now even at two apiece here. With one out in the bottom of the six, Owls on top by two. That one misses on the inside. Good take by Alexander. Now three and two. All the runs in this ball game coming back in the bottom and top, top and bottom of the first as the three two pitch gets in there for strike number two. Count now full at three and two. Apologies for that. A pitch swung on and chopped directly at Hope Hernandez at second for the second out of the bottom of the sixth. And Katie Grief will step up. A single, a fly out, and a triple. So far today for Katie Grief, but back to what I was saying. All scoring happening back in the first inning. Eagles went up early to nothing. And Taylor Cates hit a three-run shot. As that one from Greep is directly at Casey Huber to end the inning there. Owls came back. Taylor Cates, three-run home run in the bottom of the first. And then the RBI single from Taylor Cates scored Katie Greep to get us to 4-2. When we come back, we'll give you some out-of-town scores 
and the final half inning. If FGCU cannot get two runs here on the KSU Battle Network. Welcome back here to Kennesaw Bailey Park. We'll give you some out-of-town scores as we kick off the second leg of games here this afternoon and doubleheaders all across the nation. UNF in the bottom of the six, currently beating Stetson 7-2. EKU on top of Bellarmine 11-2 in the bottom of the six. Lipscomb in Central Arkansas, top of the first, tied at zero. Those are your out-of-town scores around the A's sun. Bennett's still in the game here. First pitch. This is inside on a ball. 1-0. Top of the order here for Melanie Bennett. So it's going to be a challenge. Riley Oaks, Avery Viancos, and Rini Davenport. The 3 do up here. And the top of the seventh here from Bailey Park. Owls on top, 4-2. to 1-0 pitch, turns to 1-1. One, one. The nice pitch there for Melanie Bennett on a strike. Nobody out. In the top of the seventh. One-one pitch, swung on and fouled towards the Eagle dugout. Count moves to one and two. Quick update on the score in baseball over there. 10 to 5, Owls are down, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, one out. Back here, fouled off by Riley Oaks down the third baseline. One and two, still the count remains. Baseball team is 4 0 versus Jacksonville this year. Going for win number five, got to have to come back here. But here the Owls are looking for. The Saturday sweep in the doubleheader versus the Eagles on a 1-2 pitch to Riley Oaks. Swung on and driven into left field. And Oaks is aboard. Avery Viancos, the center fielder, hit by a pitch and two strikeouts today. Will be pinch hit for. And that'll be Amaya Gaynor, a Tallahassee, Florida native, standing in her place. Gaynor gets a fresh count. Oaks on first. First pitch from Bennett. Swung on and tapped out. A double play there for the Owls. What a play. Ball hit directly towards Brenaya Bailey. She made the tag, or she made the catch, and then Riley Oaks was leaving early, had to come back. Bailey tagged her to make the double play. And the Owls now only one out away from getting the Saturday sweep. Nice job there from Benaya Bailey. First pitch misses inside to Reedy Davenport. And again looking towards the dugout. 
Gets the pitch, delivery, 1-0 pitch. Swung on and fouled off backwards in towards the crowd. Count moves to 1-1 one one here with two outs in the top of the seventh. The Owls lead by two. Owls with ten hits on the day. Eagles with five. One air. And the game so far only belongs to Kennesaw State. 1-1 one, one pitch from Bennett. On the way. Swung on and chopped towards Taylor Cates. The throw to first. The Owls win. A nice little comeback victory for the Owls. They go down early in the first. Come back in the first to take the 3-2 lead. Tack on a run in the bottom of the fifth. And win 4-2. The Owls win the doubleheader. Sweep the doubleheader today. They'll be back here tomorrow for their final game on the season versus FGCU. Well, that'll be all from Kennesaw today. We appreciate you hanging out with us today for this Saturday doubleheader in a -Sun base or a -Sun softball, excuse me, where the Owls have taken game one and game two of their weekend series versus FGCU. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow for game number three here on the KSU Owl Network.